Our first guests are three women making Winter Olympic history as the first athletes from Africa to ever qualify for the bobsled competition. Please welcome the Nigerian bobsled team. <laughs> dancing competition in the Olympics, you would also be in that. I mean, you know. <laughs> Listen, first, first of all, congratulations. You're making Woo! history. This is Thank like... You. <laughs> Thank you. Ellen, before you... Yeah. We just need to, to let you know. Okay. My goodness. Who, I can't breathe. Wait, yeah, no, but no I like, really? Okay. I told them right now. Hopefully they have the emergency room <laughs> close by, because I'm like, when I meet Ellen... My heart right now. <laughs> My heart, I might scream occasionally, uh, but it's normal. Uh -huh. You're Ellen. Yeah, <laughs> you're very strange that happened. But Thank I you. am absolutely ecstatic. I mean, I can't believe just getting down at the end of the fifth race in qualifying and being like, Oh my God, like I literally couldn't breathe. Like something like right now, you know? Yeah, you know? right. Mm -hmm. So coming together. Yeah. Well, you have good lung capacity because you're track and field. So all of you are in good shape. Yeah. You can recover fast. Okay, so you live in the United States. Where do you live exactly? Houston, Texas. Texas. Houston right now. Yeah. <laughs> but you represent Nigeria because your parents are from there? Okay, so they must be going crazy in Nigeria right now. Oh my God, everybody's going absolutely nuts. You know, the crazy thing about it is most people don't really understand what bobsled is. Like, some people are like, this is bobsledge. Some people are like, I mean, they're creating all kinds of things, but they don't care. They just know that the flag is raising high and they're excited about right. it. Right. So. Not to mention my dad thinks he's a celebrity now because everybody that texts him, they're like, that's your daughter. And we know those people. I'm like, you're not a celebrity. Yeah. Yeah. We're not a celebrity. No. no, that's how it works because anyone in proximity becomes a celebrity. Right. Oh, that's, God. believe me, that's how it works. That word, uh, so, <laughs> that, that word is so funny. All right, so so you you were in track and field, and then who thought of doing uh, bobsled? Like who thought, let's learn the bobsled? That's the culprit. Right that here. would be okay. this one. Yes. Okay. Just... And and did it, it? And how do you learn something like that? Because you didn't even have the right equipment, right? No, actually, to be honest, I, we're still learning how to do bobsled. You know, like I. Fortunately, I've been in the sport for, this will be my third season, but my first season as a driver fully is this one. Like, imagine taking a 16-year-old who just learned how to drive and throwing him in Daytona. You know, like, uh -huh. it's one of those things where, yeah, he knows how to drive, but it is a whirlwind. Like, every time, literally, I cross the finish line, I'm screaming because I'm like, thank God we survived. Along with us screaming, like, thank God we made it down! Yes, I mean... So, so do you all, because I don't think I could even understand Bob's that. So, so one person, two people push and one is in it or one per, uh, uh, how, what how does it work so yes there are two of us in the sled at any given time so we both technically do push but we're brakemen so we're like the motor of the sled while she drives okay so and and then you just you run as fast as you can and then you get in it and you just lay down and and right. steer with your with your feet? With your body? No, I steer with, with my hands. There's like this axle system, like a pulley, where if you want to go right, you pull right. If you want to go right. left, you pull left. And so I'm actually the only one who gets to see anything. They're face down. We're just down there like, like oh, God. Oh, dear God. Oh, 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 God. And I'm in there like... Uh, I mean, how fast does that go? I mean, some people can get it up to about 90 miles an hour or more. Like, I think I've gotten as fast as, like, 84 miles. But again, I mean, there is a lot of respect to be had for is this there, Is there a speedometer in there? Do you know how fast you're no, going? No, at the end, I just... <laughs> and there ought to be, because if I saw it, I'd be like... <laughs> we should invent that. <laughs> but I think that would make us more scared. Yeah, like, once we start seeing one up, we're like... Ah! <laughs> well, so you're going to be in the opening ceremony, but only one of you is carrying the flag, because there's one flag. But I feel like everyone should carry something. So I have something for all of you to carry. Oh. So, 